Well, hello, fabulous people. I'm reaching out to you from rehab today. And, um, yeah, today, actually, is my 53rd day clean and sober. And I decided to do a little video journaling. Um, even though I've been in this program since February. <laughs> Still going strong. Um, yeah, I think first, um, talk a little bit about uh, my journey that got me here. And, you know, it's time for me to be open and honest. And I feel like it's time to be open and honest with everybody and everybody being open and honest. So, um, um, yeah, I've been an alcoholic for a number of years, probably four or five maybe, um, and it escalated, it was escalating pretty bad, um, it started affecting my family and my relationships and my health and, um, probably most importantly, um, my family, like, my boyfriend and my kids who are actually um teenagers now but they were young like middle school and elementary school when I started and um you know they actually had asked me to quit which I should have taken that as a hey magpie you're a totally an alcoholic you should go to rehab but it didn't hit me for a while. And actually, the last couple of years, I really wanted to get it into a rehab. But I didn't have insurance that was going to cover it. And I'd have to pay out of pocket. And then the ones that I could afford were rubbish. I actually had to put myself somewhere where I could not reach alcohol. Because I knew that if I could, I would. Um, addiction is a powerful thing. Um, mentally, emotionally. Physically, um, it, it, you can't quit on your own when you're at the point that I was. There was no quitting on my own. That was not a choice. That was an inpatient, outpatient thing where I'd be the, at the clinic all day and then go home at night was not a happening thing. Um, through the time that I've had, um, I've had some therapy since I've been here which I feel like I could have a PhD in therapy at this point with how many therapists I've seen throughout my life um but I'm realizing that you know alcoholism isn't exactly a disease it's more like a condition and it's like, um, really, uh, um, like a, um, piece of a giant puzzle, puzzle that, you know, stems from hurt and emotional things and physical things and relationships in your past, things that haven't gone very well or right or, you know, um, it's hard to explain. I feel like it's different for everyone, although similarities that, you know, cross lines, but definitely different for everyone. Um, yeah, there's like, it's like a component in a very larger scale of issues and I don't think it's just to like feel a need um that people are are you know like whether it's like an emptiness or a loneliness but more of like to um even like add to something make something better or you know like I'm I need to be drink drinking because everything will be just better or I'm bored so I'm gonna drink and then sooner or later it turns into this uncontrollable urge and then this uncontrollable 
you know, demon on your own back that, you know, even if I could say, no, I'm not going to drink it today, by the end of the day, I'd already be in full blown detox, sweating and shaking and pained. And then I wouldn't be able to sleep and I'm sometimes afraid that I was going to have seizures if I didn't drink. Um, my body is basically just shutting down on me. And then blacking out, you know, waking up, still going to work, being functional, doing the very minimal, the minimal shit that I had to do, making sure that the kids had at least one pair of clothes to, that are clean. And, you know, when they would see me drunk, they really wouldn't expect much, you know? I used to be very present in their lives when they were younger. You know, coach T-ball, coach soccer, you know, really involved. And then as this problem just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, I, I, um, let it get out of control. And now I just, I was feeling like really embarrassed when I first got it. Or first decided to come to rehab but I had already decided years ago that I wanted to go and I finally got the opportunity and um so I had the last big fight with my boyfriend and you know you know he and I we get along so well but the only time we ever argued was when we were intoxicated together. So I think that was the red flag. And then I had had my um, oldest, one of my twins, hold me by the shoulders and look at me and say, Mom, please don't drink. We don't want you to drink. And that just breaks your heart. As a mother, that just, like, you know, you want to cry. And it just... And I promised, and I promised, and I didn't do it, because I couldn't do it on my own. And so, um, that night, I drunkenly, um, sorry, just kind of, Keep getting interrupted because we're getting a new part of the bed. So I'm gonna put this in pause. I'll be back with you guys later. Peace, bye.